Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm going to do a nail art design using She Modern stencils and sparkling glitter. So I hope you like it. Here's the picture and let me show you how I created it. Let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. On my ring and middle finger, I'll be using Strawberry Shortcake. On my pinky thumb index, index finger, I'll be using Miranda. First I'll apply the strawberry shortcake. And now I'll be applying Miranda. Now for the second coat. And the second coat of Miranda. the pink. Okay, so I have two coats of Miranda and three coats of Strawberry Shortcake. I am adding liquid latex around my pinky. So we're going to do a full glitter for the pinky and I want to protect that for easy cleanup. And for Strawberry Shortcake, we are going to remove the tacky top layer. I'm going to be using nail glue, so I do have to take the shine off of the pink nails, or strawberry shortcake. So I just used a light buffing block to do that, and now I'm just getting rid of the dust. Now I'm going to apply a white foil glue. And when that's all dry, it will turn clear. I'll be using my She Modern Pink Hollow Iridescent Sparkling Glitter. And this is the mixing canvas that comes with the glitter. I'll also be using these She Modern stencils. And these are stencil number 04. And these are flexible, reusable stencils. They come sandwiched in a piece of paper and a clear acetate sheet, just so that it's easy to slide them in and out of the poly bag. These are totally reusable. And they're actually really, really nice. I, I like these. These are pretty durable and everything, so. I like those. So right now we're going to work with the pinky. The pinky still has the tacky top layer and I've got some foil glue or I've got some foil or I've got some latex on that. So I'm just going to tap a little bit right on there. You don't have to cover the entire nail with it. Just, oops, I should work over my mixing canvas doesn't take a lot you just have to spread it in there and you can do that with your finger so that is pretty good exactly the effect that I wanted so now the foil glue looks like it's dry so what we'll be doing is positioning the nail these nail guide things <laughs> on my nail 
My nails are pretty small, so let's see. I'm trying to position these hearts. Okay, so that's good. Right there. Perfect. Also inside was a little stencil stopper. Um, and you also use this to flatten everything down. <laughs> just get that out. And you just use this to flatten it down really, really good so that the glitter doesn't leak out the sides or anything like that and get anywhere that you don't want it. So you're just pushing this down and flattening it really well. This helps. And then on our mixing canvas, we'll just add a little bit of the glitter. And then put my finger in there, yep. And then I can just pat it over the stencil. Then when you're done, you're just going to use a brush to brush off the glitter. We can do that over the mixing canvas. We just want to brush it away. You can use a clean finger if that works out better. You just kind of want to get it off the stencil so it doesn't stick to parts of the nail where you don't want it to stick. So just brush it off there, lift it up. Now if you didn't, if you didn't buff the top of your nail at this point, oh yeah, did you see that? <laughs> the glue would start to come up and it would make a mess and that wouldn't be a good thing. So now we're going to try for a full nail coverage. So I'm going to reposition this I'm trying to get this glitter off let me just get this glitter off okay if you get some stubborn glitter you can just use a little bit of um, alcohol so here I'm going to put the hearts right here so that we'll get kind of like an all over design. We'll get a couple more hearts on that finger. Okay, I'm pushing that down really good. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to put some glitter on my Mixing canvas and then I'm going to tap it into the stencil where the hearts are. Okay, and that's it. So I'm just going to brush the glitter off. You can use a brush. You can use like a clean cosmetic puff. Those will all work really well. And then just lift it away carefully so you don't get glitter underneath. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If you do get a couple of spots of glitter, like I see some glitter, you just you can just remove it. And just brush it away. So I'm just going to do that and I'll do the other nail and then I'll come back. OK, 
Okay, so once you get all the unwanted glitter off, then you're just going to top coat it. And what I like to do is I just like to put like a little dot of top coat on the glitter and then cure it and then go back over and swipe it. Remember to dry your brush off or wipe your brush off before you stick it into your bottle of top coat. So I'm just gonna cure that and then put the final top coat on. Okay, and then now we can top coat the whole nail. We don't have to worry about smearing the glitter all over. Okay, so we got that all finished. So now we're just going to peel this off. And I will just apply the top coat and we'll be right back. Okay, and then to clean up any excess glitter on your fingers or on the canvas, you just use a lint roller. Oops, I think I rolled everything with the lint roller. Pretty easy glitter cleanup. Okay, so here's the finished look. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.